Montana Code Annotated 25-9-411. It says, in a malpractice claim against one or more health care providers, an award for non-economic loss may not exceed $250,000. In layman's terms, this is referred to as the cap. It means if someone sues a medical provider for a mistake that provider made, one as serious as even wrongful death, the most money that person can get for the pain and suffering caused is $250,000. Of the 50 U.S. states, that number ranks 50th, dead last. In the nearly 30 years since the cap was enacted, it's never been challenged to the Supreme Court, but the largest ruling in state history could be about to change that and bring with it a massive shakeup to the industry. There we go. There we go. Joey Zahara's golf swing is a little unconventional. That one's going to be close. And I said, Joey's joining us today. Oh, that's really good. We get to get our butts whipped by a one-armed man. <laughs> oh, great shot. The talent has always been there. Zahara won the AA state title as a senior at CMR in 2003. He even played professionally in California for a while. There we go. But home and a new career called him back. I got hired on as the county fire chief for Teton County, um, as the youngest paid fire chief in the state of Montana. Joey then reconnected with his high school sweetheart when Zahara took the field test to become a Great Falls City firefighter on June 5, 2013. He'll never forget the date. Went home and later that evening I collapsed and that's when I suffered my first stroke. Joey was rushed to Benefice Hospital but then sat and waited for treatment. While he waited, I had my second stroke in the emergency room and that was when the massive damage happened to my brain. He was initially completely paralyzed on his right side. After a month in the hospital, Joey began to regain feeling, but to this day has no use of his right hand. I had to change everything I did, my life, how I did daily, daily tasks. Joey was a 27-year-old athletic, healthy man when he suffered the strokes, making him a seemingly perfect candidate for TPA, a clot-busting drug shown to reduce permanent damages associated with strokes. A TPA must be administered within a couple hours, and usually only by a specialized stroke physician. Dr. William Henning was the neurologist on call that night, but Henning did not come in. Thus, Zahara did not receive TPA. The doctors that were taking care of me, they're very educated, but they're not experts in what was going on. And the expert just didn't show up. The outcome could have been completely different. We're just lucky to have him, even the way he is, because nobody else helped him. The Zaharas believe Dr. Henning's failure to care for their son caused irreparable damage that could have been prevented. So they contacted this man, Daniel Flaherty. I always was really passionate about health care. Flaherty is one of only a handful of attorneys in the state who takes on medical malpractice cases. Because of the $250,000 cap, most believe the risk isn't worth the reward. Trial costs for MedMal easily are $100,000. I don't know how many lawyers are out there wanting to donate their time and money to bad cases. Luckily for Zahara, Flaherty is one of them. He took Joey's case, and the two opted to sue for non-economic damages only. They only wanted a jury to consider the pain, suffering, and change to Joey's way of life. If there's money in healthcare and actual bills, it pales in comparison to what the human being has been experienced as a loss. The suit was filed on November 21st, 2016. Six years later, on September 12th, 2022, the case went to trial, and four days later, a jury awarded Joey Zahara a $6 million verdict, the largest in Montana history. But what about the $250,000 cap? Well, the jury isn't allowed to know it exists. First time I ever heard of the, the, anything about the cap was when you mentioned it to me. Coming up, we'll hear more from jury foreman T.J. Reifer, who's far from the only person frustrated. Casey Conlon for MTN News.